When anybody asks me what my heart beat or uh, sound is all about, I laugh and say, it doesn't beat, but it hums. And when it's very, very, very quiet without ambient noise, um, I can actually hear it hum very, very, very faintly at night. Um, <laughs> I am community activist, retired from the Chrysler Museum, now uh, the distinction of being an LVAD patient, and I guess in some small way as an artist. I started painting images in response to my LVAD surgery, which took place on August 11, 2011. So it's exactly a year ago. Um, this is a painting uh, um, that refers to that feeling of drowning that comes with heart patients because for months and months I could not lie down flat to sleep because the lungs filled up. When I was a little girl, uh, my parents uh, emigrated from the London area after the Second World War. The first summer that I was there, I contracted rheumatic fever. Here's, here's me in a fanciful little Victorian bed, and in front, dancing in front of me, there's a vision of a heart in the right-hand side, and through the window, up, hovering in the, in the air, comes the rheumatic fever. I was driving from Norfolk to Virginia Beach at about 65 miles an hour in the expressway, and all of a sudden I realized that I had been someplace else. I thought perhaps I'd fallen asleep, but it didn't feel as if I'd fallen asleep. I was still driving 65 miles an hour, I hadn't crashed into anything, but clearly my brain had either blanked out or been off in someplace else. And I was just standing up, brushing my teeth, getting ready to go to bed. And all of a sudden I woke up and I was on the floor in the corner of the bathroom. And I have absolutely no recollection of anything in between. One minute cleaning your teeth, the next minute looking up at the underside of the sink. And so this is called Collapse One um, and, and was, the first, was the first blackout that I experienced. The name of this painting is uh, Aordonaut, kind of a play on astronaut. And as you can see, this is a a floating figure. That would be a dream where I escape from my body. Now, that wire does not go directly in my heart the way that I've painted it here, but it's the general idea that there is an electric current that from the battery and uh, then, then into my body that fuels the pump with electricity. This painting that I'm looking at is called Water Wings and coming out of the anesthesia, I can remember crying asking to be saved because I was drowning. And indeed, my lungs had filled up. But this is a fanciful interpretation of this with the tubes stapled to my back. The reason I called it water wings is because water wings seem to be coming up from these tubes. They look like angel wings, but water wings are also what children use in swimming pools to stay safe. This was very early after the surgery. Oh my goodness, I've been opened up and I've been unzipped. And so I made the, the incision um, as if it was, had been unzipped. But I look back at this painting and I think, I look pretty serene in this picture. And I think it's because I knew that after the surgery, I was on my way to better health. It, records what happened to me almost in about a month or so after the surgery and that was that my hair started falling out and it was the result of the trauma to the body when you have massive amounts of anesthesia and it was so strange because through all of this horrendous surgery uh, I never cried. I always had total faith that the doctors were going to put me sort of patch me back and put me back together again. But when I came home and my hair started falling out, it was kind of the straw that broke the camel's back. Or perhaps I should quote Shakespeare, Vanity, thy name is woman. And I just couldn't stand it. So here I am with my hair that I used to keep red. And the red hair is just kind of flying out and flying away from me. I have been very fortunate to have been welcomed by Norfolk and have tried to give something of myself to this community through a, ver a series of 
organizations with which I belong. Good deeds kind of come around. Karma is a good way of, of putting it. And even though my angels are perhaps not the traditional angels, I do think that more than once I've had angels um, perched on my shoulder.